Hey, this is Charles P. Chalk from Audio 8 Promotes. This video is for my QLab users who use our iPad companion app called Lab Monkey. Lab Monkey gives you a real time version of what's happening on QLab. It can be wireless or wired. Now, I want to go into show timers. A lot of people want a timer on this and they want to trigger it from QLab so they get a runtime for their show. So, you can do that very easily. You come into here, you go into options, and you make sure the display timer is on. And then you have to control this display timer using QLab. And I'm going to show you how to do it. The instructions are right here also, but I'm going to walk you through it now. So what we can do is we have a queue in QLab that has timer start, and we can put any value we want in. Let's say we have a 42-minute show. Okay, great. Now that that is there, you have to have hashtag timer forward slash, and then the time in minutes in this format. And once you have that on the queue, then all you have to do is load that queue and the timer is now loaded correctly. And as soon as you fire or move off that queue, you're gonna see the timer begin to count down. Now the timer will continue to count down and will even go into the red zone into the negative numbers. And there is still the real clock up here. Now in order to stop your show, let's say you have your playoff music actually labeled the stop queue timer stop it has hashtag timer forward slash stop in the queue and as soon as i land on it it's going to stop that timer so it doesn't need to be fired as soon as you land on that queue boom you've stopped the timer because it has hashtag timer stop in the notes of that queue and that's how to use timers and how to stop timers for your show this is charles peachock we'll see you at showtime